Untangle it. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on. Are those cameras on? Oh, I'm supposed to act like I don't mind cameras. I'm just kidding. I don't care a bit about cameras. All I care is that you're out there watching the video and hopefully having a good time. Today, we got a cool clutch of pies. I made a boo boo a minute ago. I was like, we're really ahead. We got three heads out and 50 50 pied, but then I realized it was pied to pied. Everyone's going to be a pied. So, that being said, when you know, genetics are kind of a trip, they're hard to understand sometimes, but real simple, if you have a Recessive trait and both parents show it like pied or albino. Every baby will be pied or albino Now if you have one mom that had a dad that was an albino and the father is the albino Then you'll end up with 50 50 and if you breed two snakes that look normal that came from albinos 25% will be albinos or Bides which is recessive 25% would be pieds. that being said a co-dominant gene like sunfire tiger all those motley you'd automatically get 50% no matter what you breed it to because it's called a co-dominant gene and it automatically gives the gene to half its offspring. So that being said, we got 100% pieds here. We got three heads out. We got a couple eggs that, we have a couple eggs that are in, in distress. Hopefully everything's okay. We're gonna start with this one. This is why we cut eggs. It's not just to get them early. It's not all the crazy stuff you read on the internet. It's not, it's literally just to have a higher success rate for them to live and have a healthy life. And that way, if we help a little bit, we find that our success rate is much higher and we get better babies because they live. <laughs> we like we like them to have all the opportunities they can. And that being said, this one may have lost its opportunity in the last week, in the last couple days. So we wait for the first ones to hatch so that we can help the other ones. Now this one's had a rough time. You can see the eggs bad. So here, bring it over here. So look at that pied. Woo. That being said, this egg would have never made it without an incubator, but it almost made it. And this one almost made it. This one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's incredible. So pieds, this is the pied. It is a, it's basically a two colored snake. Unfortunately, we knew those eggs were in distress. We were hoping for the best. And that is part of the unfortunate part about animals. In general, they don't all make it. They're just like people. They don't all make it. We've learned that lately in a very bad way with the pandemic. Yeah. That being said, this egg looks terrible. And the, the baby was able to cut its way out. <clears throat> those two, you know, maybe, maybe could have been saved if they were cut yesterday but I don't want to make anybody come out early either. And so typically, I really thought, that, I really honestly believe those are going to be fine. This one is absolutely fine. Look at that. So he's turning, you turn your head around. He's tracking me. He's not looking at you guys. So there is a pied, perfectly healthy. It is a, see right there, that's the umbilical cord. Everything looks perfect. Nothing's tangled up. How do we got there? So there we go, another pied. Perfectly healthy. So there it is. Got a little white on its nose. Not a high white pied. We should have roughly 25% of these or 50% of these. Technically 25%. No, 50% of these should be have good, pretty good white. Yeah. That being said, it doesn't always work perfect mathematically because it just depends on the gene. So there's another. Now this one's got a crazy pattern. It's like a rainbow. Yeah. It literally looks like a rainbow retic. And uh, wow, that is so wild. Look at that. See the pattern on the back? It's just incredibly gorgeous. So this one doesn't have high white, but it's got, everything looks really good. Everything's in place. This is another one I'm concerned about. That being said, I feel like our odds are a little bit better because it just looks a little bit better. The other ones, I like I said, I really thought one would make it for sure. Ooh, it is a high white one. That one was high white. Wow, that thing's really high white. Look at that. Wow, look at that. And the good news is, guess what? Whoa, whoa. So you see, this had a, this incredible, incredible snake 
had a high probability of passing like the other two, but because we're here to make sure that it, it gets out and gets a breath of air, we've just quadrupled its, its life expectancy from, from maybe never making out of the egg to being perfectly fine. So that is exactly why we do it. These other eggs look like they're not gonna have a problem. This one here will be the next qu questionable egg. This one here did it on its own, even though it's questionable. But I would say from here on out, we should be, we should be great. I wonder if we get another crazy one like that. The pie gene is, is uh, takes other genes to help make it cool. So you can just see the snake is, is actually underneath an em membrane. See that membrane? That's the, that's the embry embryotic sac it's in basically inside the egg. So what I want to do is I want to actually pop its head out and pop that little skin. See, because it still can't breathe. Ah, there it is. So now it can take a breath and it's safe. Man, you got enough paper towels for an army. I only need one at a time. <laughs> so there you go. So that one, that one there is, is looking good. Everything looks great. Okay, Tim, grab one. Let's see what we got. And we're both gonna need one. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this one again a little bit different. Here we go. These have no points on the top. So if I keep it all the way at the top, it's safe. Oh, there's a cool pipe. So here we go. Pull that sack open. And there's a gorgeous high white. Is this a white head? It looks like the pattern of a white head. We used to think that white heads were tigers, but we figured out there can be anything. Come on, here we go. Ooh, that's a beautiful snake. Okay, see this umbilical cord? It looks a little suspicious tangled. I'm gonna make sure, see it is tangled, see that? So this is the other reason why we cut them. Once in a while we find these ones in a knot like that. See, it's wrapped around the snake completely. And so we gotta unwrap it. Wow, look at that beautiful head. You gotta go backwards. Yes. So we need to take the snake through all this. See right there? We gotta carefully do this. This is like uh, the real stuff here. Cause I'll tell you, it's not good for the snake no. to rip that and bleed. That tears, that's it. Yeah, it most likely would be okay, but because it is a big baby, but if we just untangle it, oh, here we go. Come on, come on, there we go. There we go, one more, oh, there we go. So now it's going from having no, no, none of its embryonic food, basically the yolk, to having a full meal. So this snake here should do fantastic. Look at that beautiful head, wow, is that cool? I like, I like white heads a lot, but I like some with high white heads also almost as much because there's something to complement the other bit so that's good news that one's looking good we'll sit it right there what do you got Tim I don't know yet. okay here we go so that's two snakes that we really helped out today and that's you know sometimes you cut a whole clutch and there's no problems Everything's perfect. Sometimes you let them cut away, and you can tell they're just all going to do great. But, you know, this one had a couple that I was really concerned about and ended up with another one I concerned. Whoa, look at that. That's beautiful. Platinum. A platinum. Uh, citron. Yeah. A platinum citron. Tiger, probably. For sure, citron. Look at that. There's another big, fat, healthy baby. Everything's looking good here. So I think we're probably out of the woods for anybody, except are we gonna find something really crazy? It's kind of like, what's in the egg? What's in the egg? Wow, it's another really beautiful one. Wow, look at that, it's almost red. Wow, look at how healthy that baby is. Oh, look at that, another belka cord. Ah. Oh. Funny is, it seems like when there's one messed up umbilical cord, there's sometimes more than one. The good news is this one popped out real easy and uh, no problems. We got two left. Which one should I do, this one or that one? Okay, now you're gonna guess, read my mind. Which one is it? Is it this one or this one? Uh, I guess if you, if you don't write it down, then you cheated. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, well here's the deal. I'm right-handed, so what does that mean I'm gonna pick? The this right, is the, the one. Right, the right one. The right one. I'm a, I picked the right one. <laughs> the left one. So if you wrote down left, and then you're the one that guessed right. Okay, we got one more egg after. Ooh. Ooh. That's a cool one. Oh. Wow, look at the color on that. Look at how big it. Oh, look at the head. Look at the head. Oh. Look at that head. See, is that cool? I thought it was going to be a white head. I just, I thought the last one was going to be honestly, but this one here is a white head. We were just talking about them. Oh man. I want to make sure it's not tangled up. Everything looks good. Big, big, Jeez. beautiful. Be a 30 foot or Look at that. Oh man. That's hard to beat. So, so the left one was the cool one, but is it? I don't know. We're going to find out one minute if the other... That was the right one. That might have been the wrong one. This one might be crazy. <laughs> true. Tim didn't show you. But Tim didn't show you. Look, look. I don't know. Is Tim's better than mine or is mine better than Tim's? Oh, they're both ours. So I guess there's nothing to worry about. Here we go. Oh, I think Tim won. Uh, like oh <laughs> man look at that is that cool or what wow that is beautiful we'll have to pull those out when it's all we can't pull them out yet because the other one's not ready this one looks pretty close to ready but the other one isn't ready last one here it is the one that was a right egg not the left egg but the left egg was the right egg. That could have been the wrong, the wrong egg. But it could have been the wrong egg. But I think it was the right egg. We're going to find out right now if left was right and right was wrong. Okay. Oh! That's the right egg. It could have been. I'm mostly playing with you. Yeah. It's just a gorgeous, absolutely perfect amount of white. Look, it's got a white nose, it's got a tan body, it's got white going all the way down it. Huge, high white, gorgeous animal. Absolutely awesome, check it out. Gorgeous white animal, whoa, man. Anyway, you know what? Me and Tim, how, long, how, many, how many years we got into this? You got more than I do, but I know. I've been doing it 20 years now. So, me and Tim have been working 20 years together at making cool reticulated pythons. We made a couple. And you know what? Because we've worked consistently and hard at it, it's been very amazing some of the things we've hatched. Absolutely. We have some snakes today that we've never seen before in our lives. Nobody else has either, so it's pretty exciting. And you know what? The trick was we both hung in there. When you stick together and you keep working hard, man, it's amazing what you can get to. Yeah, those, those times just become nothing. No, but they become part many, of the there's journey. Too many, too many good times to overshadow everything else. That is crazy. I always tell my, hopefully my wife doesn't watch this. I always tell my wife, if you remember all the good stuff that we've had happen in our life, yeah. you'll never get to the bad stuff in your memory because there's too many good things. So sometimes we can wake up in the morning and think about all the bad stuff that happened yesterday that might happen tomorrow. But I find that if you just think about the good stuff that happened Absolutely. during your life, you never have enough time in the day to get to the bad stuff anyway. And all of a sudden, better stuff happens. And uh, it is really cool today to stand here with him hatching snakes that didn't exist when we started, snakes that didn't exist when we started, snakes that didn't exist when we started, Snakes that didn't even weren't even thought of before we started, snakes that weren't even thought of before we started, and things snakes that have never been thought of before when we started. Yeah. That is called living a dream. When you get somewhere you can't even dream that far, and that's what we call living the dream. And you know what? I don't know what your dream is, but I'll tell you right now: don't expect it to happen overnight. Right? But don't give up on it. That's the whole point. Yeah. So go make it happen, and just remember that every time you want to quit. Do you really want to see the dream? or do, And you know what? Sometimes we have to change our minds and decide that there is a better dream for our lives. Just make sure it's your dream and not somebody else's dream. 
because that's the one that's going to work out for you. Peace out. Hope you have an awesome day. Help somebody on the way. Good job, Tim. Living the dream. Right. There it is right there.